You know what? I'm surprised. It seems like every single time I ask what you want to learn about, I get the same answer from a pretty big number of people, and it's not the answer I expect. You see, a shocking number of people want to know more about the plant paradox and athletic performance. For some, it's marathon running. For some, it's bodybuilding. For others, it's CrossFit. Turns out a lot of my subscribers have pretty big athletic aspirations, and that's fantastic. So today I want to shed light on eating the plant paradox way and athletic performance. But first, I've got a question for you. Is there any health-related topic you'd like to know more about? I'm here to answer your questions and to shed some light on the topics that you're most curious about. So go ahead and leave a comment below, then subscribe to this channel so you get updated when your question is answered. Chances are we've got quite a few happy commenters right now. Because like I said, this video is straight from the subscriber request. So let's get into it and talk about the plant paradox for people who work out. Yes, bodybuilders and elite athletes, but also people who walk a long way to get to work or people who love to dance. Basically, anyone who exercises can benefit from the stuff I'm about to share, starting with the biggest fitness myth of all time. You need tons of protein if you work out, especially if you want to build lots of muscles. It's the reason you see bodybuilders guzzling protein shakes and the excuse they use to eat a huge steak and dozens of eggs every day. So it's easy to believe that you need to eat tons of protein to be an athlete. Well, the truth is your body needs some protein for sure. It's an essential nutrient after all. But whether you're a hardcore athlete or a regular Joe, you're probably eating too much protein, especially if that protein is coming from animals. The truth is you can get all the protein you need from plants, even if you want to build big, strong muscles. In fact, some of the strongest animals alive, like horses and elephants, are completely vegetarian. And if you've ever watched a horse run, I think you'll agree, they're certainly athletes. So no matter what your fitness goals look like, you don't need to chow down on a steak to reach them. And you don't need a giant whey protein smoothie or one made with healthier pea, oat, or brown rice protein. The truth is those are loaded with lectins. No. All you need is a healthy, balanced diet where vegetables come first. And stuff like meat is just a garnish rather than the main event. Hmm, sounds a little like the plant paradox plan, right? Well, that's because the plant paradox plan is the perfect diet for athletes because it's a great way to make sure you're eating enough vegetables. And veggies are essential for building strong muscles. So. Throw out that big tub of basic protein powder and focus on fueling your body with protein-rich plant-based whole foods like avocados, nuts, and greens. If you must drink a protein drink, look for a powder that's the Plant Paradox compliant, something like hemp, algae, or flax-based proteins. And remember, you really don't need more than 20 grams of animal protein a day. That's about three eggs or three ounce of grass-fed, grass-finished beef. So that covers protein. What's the story with carbs? Well, if you've ever been around an endurance athlete before a race, you probably know they're all about carb loading. That's eating tons of carbohydrates, typically in the night before the race, to give them plenty of race day energy. And it's true. Carbs do give you energy, especially if you're eating the right carbs. But a lot of the athletes I've talked to use carb loading as an excuse to eat lectin-loaded brown rice, wheat bread, or tons of pasta. And sure, those foods may give them energy, but they also cause digestive distress. Not what you want in the middle of a long race, believe me, and you've actually seen it on the race course. 
So, if you're a serious athlete, what should you do about carbs? Well, most of the time, it's enough to simply eat a healthy, balanced diet with tons of leafy greens, plant-based protein, and plenty of good fats. We'll get to that fat in a minute. But if you're one of those people who relies on a pre-race or pre-competition carb load, or if you're someone who wants to sustain a hard, taxing workout, go ahead and carb load the night before. Just do me a favor and stick to resistant starch-rich foods. That way you're supporting your gut health and your energy levels, and you're less likely to have to worry about mid-race bathroom emergencies. If you pick foods like sweet potatoes, millet and sorghum, or cassava-based tortillas and chips, they're out there now. Just make sure to use those starchy carbs to get plenty of olive oil in your mouth. Again, this is something everyone should do, but it's especially important for people who are doing lots of serious training for a number of reasons. And before you freak out, let me remind you again, eating fat will not make you fat. In fact, it could help keep you slim, strong, and active as you age. So it's an essential part of anyone's diet, especially athletes' diets. It helps keep your heart healthy, lubricate your joints, and it's essential for building strong muscle. So whatever you do, don't skip the fat. Now, olive oil is definitely my favorite fat, but it's certainly not the only one you can or should be eating on a daily basis. Not only are avocados and nuts great sources of protein, but they're fantastic sources of body-healthy fats. Same goes for egg yolks. And of course, avocado oil, sesame seed oil, perilla oil, flax seed, and coconut oil are fantastic for you as well. So go ahead, eat fatty foods. Just eat the right kind of fat. And remember, that olive oil you put on your carbs the night before a race or training session is as important as the carbs themselves. So don't skimp out when fueling up. Oh, and before I go, I need to answer one other question I hear all the time. Dr. Gundry, what should I eat if I want to bulk up? Now, let me be clear. You do not need huge muscles to be healthy. But if the bodybuilder look is part of your goals and you're eating a healthy diet, there is something you can do. And yes, it involves protein. But more than that, it involves a healthy mix of protein and fat. The trick? Well, it involves eating one ingredient once a day, macadamia nuts. I suggest eating a small handful of them, nothing crazy, before your workout. They'll fuel you up and they're a great mix of fat, protein, and higher calories that athletes need. Just stick to the unsalted or lightly salted if possible. Too much salt before a workout can leave you feeling dehydrated, and that is not a great feeling. That said, if you do get dehydrated for any reason, please skip the sports drinks and even natural coconut water and stick to water. That way you're rehydrating your body without loading up on sugars or unnatural additives, which are not great for fitness. Oh, and one other thing I tell all my athletic patients, learn the difference between real pain and minor muscle soreness. It's normal to get a little sore after a workout, but if you're in outright pain, that's a problem and a sure sign that you should stop what you're doing and let your body rest. So listen to your body. Eat a smart balance of fat, resistant starches, and plant-based proteins. Hydrate the right way. Use nuts to add bulk. And have a great workout. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you and your fitness. Good. I don't know.